One of the most common problems I see with volleyball players is when they pass, they use their legs to lift up or jump up, which is even worse. If you do this, what you're doing is you're already adding to what the other player is doing. In other words, if I'm hitting a ball at you, the ball's coming at you fast, you're lifting up with your legs, you're adding to what they're already doing. That's how you lose control of the ball. So, what I suggest you do is don't lift up. That compounded with the fact that your high school, your junior high school, and your club coach tell you to pass the ball higher so the center can get under is why offenses run out of sync. So, let me show you a simple drill to short circuit this whole process. When you're passing, what I prefer to have you do is to put one foot forward. If you put the left foot forward, you're going to influence the ball over to the right. If you put the right foot forward, you're, you're going to influence the ball over to your left. Your feet influence your shoulders, which control your arms. They don't control them, but they do influence them. From there, what you're going to do <clears throat> is you're going to step forward. You're going to pivot forward like this. Notice how I'm going over the ball and lifting with my arms. If I'm going forward and down, you can't overpower me. If I'm lifting with my arms, your arms control the height of the ball and the trajectory of the ball. The other variation of this is when you dig. Digging's a little bit different. We put our feet together because we don't want the ball to go forward as opposed to what we're doing with passing. So if we keep our feet together, we put our arms out, and we dig the ball, try to get at your waist. Try to bend you into these balls as you're passing the ball here. You're not only going to pass better, but you're going to dig better. You're more athletic, you backspin the ball, and that's how we handle power.